Ma'am, start walking backwards. What's your name? Helen. Helen? All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking. So stay. All you have to do is stay. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show for this evening. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And in today's episode, we're going to once again talk about the sad situation that happened to truck driver helen jones um i spoke to several truck drivers about uh, about this young lady uh we we all know that this that this young lady had issues had mental issues straight across the board there was no doubt about that um and unfortunately, the way she went out was was very tragic. But as I said before, the video that I had when I talked to DeMarchio and Captain Peanut, it was the video that I had from the one perspective. Somebody turned their phone on and then they, they caught the video from there. And then everybody started judging and started, you know, forming opinions of what happened from that one particular video. Now, I, for one, I, I said long time ago that I was going to stop speculating on the situation. I, I was in that face. I was in that very same Facebook group where the young lady, when DeMarchio put his post up, and the young lady was like, yeah, well, the police didn't have to yada, 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 yada. But that was only because we saw it from one point. Okay. That again, I don't like to speculate anything. And, I, I'm, and I'm not. I like to see the stories from all sides of the spectrum. Enter the body cam footage that I got for you guys today. All right. We're both going to watch it together. Um, it's from the point, it's from the cop's point of view. Uh, but also in this one point of view, it's kind of obscured when they actually uh, made the, you know, when they actually shot the young lady. All right. So we're going to go ahead and watch this today. We're going to get into it. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to commentate too much about it. All right. Because like I said, as you guys watching it, it's the first time I'm watching it. So let's get into this video. What's going on? No, they're trying to get in my truck. Is my boyfriend left? You don't have any weapons on you, ma'am? No, 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 no. Do you mind just lifting up your shirt and turning around for me so I can see? Other side. Hey, huh. put your hands on your head for Mimi. Put your hands on your head. I'm not going to. Ma'am? I'm not going to. I just want them in there. Put your hands on your head and turn around and face away from me. Put your drink down. Top of your head Whoa. and turn around and face away from me. Yeah. Okay. So let's stop right there for a second. <laughs> she says that you might want to call for backup. What sane person would say something like that? Now, as you guys see that the cop went into defensive mode. And at this point, I believe she pulled out her service weapon. 
Officer requested additional units to her location and advised that the woman appeared to be armed and may have been involved in the shots fired. I'm going to be out with the subject on the northeast corner of 27th Avenue. The school records have shots fired. I believe she's armed. She's compliant right now. I just need another unit. Additional officers arrived and communicated with Jones for approximately 13 minutes. Ma'am, start walking backwards. What's your name? Helen. Helen. Helen, I need you to start making your way back here towards the patrol vehicles because what's going to happen is we have a lot more officers that are on the way and what is going to happen either way we need to speak with you and you need to comply with us so either you start doing that now with us or there's going to be a lot more other people and somebody could get hurt. I do not want that for you, Helen. Don't be looking at us. Face away. Keep calling her back to us. Helen, you need to walk back to the sound of my voice. Helen, walk back to the sound of my voice. Investigators later located witness video, which appears to show the incident in its entirety. Jones ignored officers' directions and turned towards officers and pointed a gun at them. Two officers fired at Jones, striking her. A third officer also deployed less lethal stun bag munition. Here is footage from the officer's body-worn cameras. Due to the officer's equipment and where they were standing, only one of the three body-worn cameras gives a partial view of the incident. Hey! Hey! Officers provided first aid until Phoenix Fire Department arrived on scene. Wow. That's the gun. A MP shield. You know, that was my that was my first nine millimeter right there. That was my that was my first nine millimeter right there. <sighs> so sad. So, so sad. Um, well, again, like I said, I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm the type of person before I give any type of opinion or, or anything like that. I, I, I like to see the story from the beginning and as the story from the beginning when they when they walked up on her uh looked like she was you know looked like she was discombobulated talking about her boyfriend left her or something like that but initially the cops had a shots fired so that probably might have been her shooting her gun they heard they they heard the shots fired earlier and she probably emptied it out so it's probably not even it was probably not a not even loaded but there's a whole bunch of probabilities in that and once you turn around and and point your gun at an officer <laughs> it's, it's 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 not going to end well it's it's not it's not going to end well but again we we don't know if if the gun was empty or loaded, but of course, being an officer facing that type of uncertainty, of course, they're not going to take that chance to find out whether it was empty or loaded. So again, um, mental, mental health, illness is for real it's it's is is for real and being a truck driver it, it can weigh heavy on your heart very heavy um again i i wish this lady peace 
I, I, you know, my, my thoughts and prayers are with her family. Um, and I know I put in the title, is it suicide by cop? So leave your comments in the comments below to let me know whether or not if you guys think that it was suicide by cop. I really don't think the officers had any other choice but to do what they did in that particular situation. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know. But I, I will say that something was going on with this young lady at the time. And, um, and yeah, it's unfortunate that she wasn't able to get any help in that situation. So, but, uh, let me, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, this is the full story right now. This is the full story. So take it as you take, take it as you will. And, um, and let me know what you think in the comments below, man. All right. This is Lockout Man. I appreciate you guys being up with me right quick uh, for this quick video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it is viewer discretion is advised for this video. So I'm not even sure whether or not if YouTube is going to leave it up or whatever the case may be. But um, but seriously, though, she 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 was a young lady driver she she was going through a lot a lot a lot a lot of things and it's just unfortunate that she wasn't able to get the help that she needed before this tragic situation and this is me and my new truck this is the before picture i just got done shopping just got the truck all together so i'm just showing you my before picture of everything just thrown in my truck from my other truck so this is the way the truck looks right now and there we go and well here we go my truck is now officially finished so here we go here's my truck now all done And pretty fly. I think the most gorgeous is rug in the whole wide world. Hello, kitty. And we are nice and together.